What's up guys, Austin or Rock Bottom Cats here. And to this trip, I'm gonna be doing another kayak fishing trip out here on the river. I've anchored up here. Um, there's a small hole back here behind me. It's probably, I just stuck my paddle down about four or five feet deep. And then up here in front of me, it's about one and a half to two feet deep. So pretty shallow, but there's a nice drop down. I've got some good rock structure over here as well as back here to my left. There is a nice uh, log jam piled up and it looks like it's about three feet deep right around that log jam. So I'm hoping the flathead's holding over there, but we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna put some cut bait on. And I'm gonna throw one live bait out using all bluegill. And I, well, I take that back, bluegill. And I've got a um, shell cracker in there as well, but that's gonna be the bait I'm using tonight. So let me get baited up, we'll toss it out and let's see if we can catch some fish. All right, so my bait setup tonight's pretty simple. I'm gonna do a body piece, I filleted off one side and I've got a head piece. So that's gonna be my, my cut bait sections for the night. And let's see, we'll do a, I don't know if y'all can see that, but here we go. Do a head piece right here. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna pitch it out right there along the edge of that rock there and see if there's, if y'all can see that anyhow. The rock that's right here to my right. I'm hoping there'll be some fish hanging around it. Then we'll take this fillet piece and we'll just pitch it out back there, kind of behind me. Take this other body piece, put it on right here, and I go in right under the dorsal where the dorsal fin would be. I've trimmed that off and come out kind of at an angle, make sure there's no scales on that tip. I'm just gonna kind of kick it out right back towards the log jam, and then I'm gonna put this live bait on this right behind me and try to reach out to that little log jam. All right, so for this live bait, we'll come right back here at the back of the dorsal fin, and pull that out. Try to do it at a slight angle, but it's not really an angle. That one's ready. I forgot I needed weights on there. <laughs> Put a five ounce sinker on. I'm gonna put that right over there. Change the plans. I'm actually gonna stick this one up here and we'll put the cut bait right about that way because I didn't throw it quite like I wanted to. And I am running clickers tonight, y'all, just because if I do get pulled at all, keeps from dragging that bait all over the bottom, getting my stuff hung up is bad. And there's no current. I mean, there's current, but there's not much. I'm using four, five, or six ounces. I've got a little bit of everything in here. You don't need, but shoot, you only need an ounce out here. But having a little bit of extra weight helps keep it there if you do get pulled just a tad. All right, so this one, right there at that rock. All right, guys, there's, there's a fish. There's a fish. That's on a headpiece. See if we can get him to come around this rock right here without getting up in it. Let's see. What side do you want to come on, buddy? Looks like he wants to come this way. He didn't hit it that hard. I'm kind of hoping it might be a little flatty, but can't tell yet. He's not flipping around or anything, so give y'all some light so y'all can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, it's a little flatty. And there we go. No, 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 don't throw my bait off. I want that back. I hope y'all enjoyed that one. <laughs> there we go. Well, the skunks out of the kayak. Hopefully we'll get a little bit bigger quality fish than this. But 
I'm just glad to not be skunk. Turn this down just a tad. There we go. Good hook set. Alrighty guys. There is a little flatty. Pretty little fish, y'all. Pretty little fish. Get him back in the water. He's go. And we got our headpiece back. Which is great because I ain't got a ton of bait. There we go. Now if his uh, mama or daddy will be, will come behind that rock over there and do the same thing, we'll be in business. There we go. All right. We're fishing again. There's the fish, guys. There's the fish. Hopefully I'm not too slack again. I feel like I kind of am. Oh, he's running all up through my lines. Let's see here. What a mess. He just ran through three of my lines, guys. That's an absolute mess. Absolute mess. All right, you guys, y'all gonna have to have a little bit of a dark moment because I just saw about 10,000 little bugs. Okay, night. What a mess. And I think, yeah, he came on my live boat. All right, little old dinky blue. He's absolutely made a mess of everything. All right, guys. There he is. I'm getting ate up with bugs, so take a quick look and we'll get him back in so I can get this light turned off. He's gone. And he made a mess. All right, guys, I just want y'all to look at the bugs everywhere. This is insane out here. I'm gonna fish a little bit longer. Hopefully we'll get a third fish and then I'm gonna probably call it a night. So you guys sit tight just a little bit longer. Uh, uh, uh. That right there, guys, is a fish. That one's on a piece of cut bait. He's not big, but it's still a fish. Try not to get all twisted and tangled around real bad again, like I did last time. That's fish number three, if we can get them in here. And looks like another little old flathead, y'all. Another little flathead. Get out of there. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dropping the light down for him. He is not big <laughs> at all. But you know what? It's a little fish. So, there you go. Another little dinky. Tonight is the night of the dinks. 
Back he goes. He happy, won't he? All right, guys, I'm going to call it for this trip. Um, pretty short and sweet. I was, uh, I think I was fishing in the nursery out here because uh, couldn't get much smaller than those. They wouldn't get the hook in the mouth. But either way, I caught some fish, didn't get skunked, and uh, it was a nice evening out here minus the bugs. So can't complain too much. Appreciate all you guys sticking around and watching the video. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit, hit the subscribe button to the channel. Um, if you're on social media, check out my Instagram and Facebook page, Rock Bottom Cats. And if you're looking for a Facebook page uh, or group to join for catfishing, check out NC Catfishing. We're at over 18,000 members, lots of great folks, and uh, lots of great information on there. So make sure you check that out. Once again, thanks for sticking around and watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.